Yeah. Let me a quick video. You update about what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. So I was in the hospital last night. I'm okay. I mean, I'm not like okay, but like I'm, it's nothing life threatening, thank goodness. Um, so I have something called colitis, which is basically inflammation of the bowels. Um, and he thinks it might be infected because I had like a fever. So they put me on, on an IV antibiotic. antibiotic and uh, gave me a bunch of fluids, which really helped me feel better, too. Um, and everything. What? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so I'm supposed to be on these meds for three or four days. And if I don't start to feel better at all, then I have to go in and get a colonoscopy, which is... I've heard, though, that the prep is different than it was last time I did it um well I heard that like a year like or not a year ago sorry a month ago from somebody but then Katie and another couple of people were confirming that they said that the bottle now is like the size of a Pepto-Bismol bottle yeah like when I did it it was like a gallon and a half of this like I mean, it was over a decade ago that I did it, so I hope they're changing it. Um, but you would have to drink this like li liquid that just tasted like thick, thick water. It was like thick water consistency, and it just tasted like ass. It was awful. I hated it, um, and it made me so sick. And, and the doctor was telling me last night, he's like, I know it's really hard for people like you because if you have gastroparesis, you're putting so much volume into your stomach and um, by the time you're pooping, the volume that's in your stomach isn't flushing as fast as normal persons would because your system is, that's what gastroparesis is. So it's really, really awful for people with gastroparesis, but he was saying that... Um, that it is different than it was last time I got it done. So I hope so. Um, so yeah, so right now, um, my mom is being really sweet and trying to get me in soon with this specialist that I've, that I saw a long time ago. I love him so much. He's such a good doctor. My sister was up here recently, um, with stomach issues like this and my mom was able to get her in right away, even though this doctor is so popular and so hard to get into. Um, so my mom's going to call tomorrow and see if they can squeeze me in just in case I'll end up needing it. And if not, then we'll just cancel that appointment. So yeah, so that's the plan. That's what's going on. Um, my hemoglobin is okay. It's low, but not too bad. Uh, and I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Yeah, so I'm glad we went in. Um, I Oh, basically I went in, I didn't even tell you why. Um, I was having really bad pains in my like upper stomach, like where the esophagus meets the stomach um, is where the pain was. And it was making me really nauseous and I couldn't keep anything down. Um, and I'm still feeling that way, but I'm feeling a little bit better, I think, because of all the fluids they gave me and stuff like that, I really think that helped me to feel better. Um, but yeah, I was just having this pain and it was the same pain that I had that landed me in the ICU. So I was really worried, so that's why I went in. Um, but he said that, you know, your bowels, part of your bowel is right there where the esophagus meets the stomach. And so if the whole bowel is inflamed, then it can hurt up here as well. Um, yeah, plus, I mean, I have a hernia there. I've had it, a high natal hernia, and we think because I wasn't pooping and I was so constipated and <clears throat> pushing so much and going through <clears throat> so much with my body that, um, maybe I pressed on that too much and pissed that thing off too. And he said that the gastritis was pissed off too, he thinks, um, he can't be sure of that unless they do an endoscopy 
So again, if I go see the specialist, then he can do a colonoscopy and an endoscopy at the same time, um, which, which is probably what we'll end up doing. So we'll see how this goes. And right now I'm just staying on the antibiotics they gave me and just trying to rest and hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll be okay. Do you have any updates to give the people? Let's see if there's any questions from yesterday. Danny's playing a song right now. Don't sing the lyrics, because I can't edit this. The song says the F word like every five seconds and it's really funny. It's a very funny song. Let's see if there's any comments from you guys. Changed my name back finally to Educating Shani 3.0. You're welcome. Um, so I think I saw a comment I wanted to respond to. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'll be editing this one. If not, sorry. Um, you know what I should do? Hold on. I'm gonna look at, you know the not gonna lie thing, the NGL thing you can do on Instagram and like ask for, <clears throat> the heck? Oh, inbox. You can ask for anonymous questions and stuff. You guys have sent me in so many that I haven't answered yet. So let me find one that I haven't answered. Oh, we did a never have I ever one. That's fun. Let's do that. Okay, never have I ever skipped school. I definitely have. Danny? Skip school? I played hooky once. And really? I skip school like once a week. Don't skip school, kids. Just once. Do not follow my lead on that. Um, okay, never have I ever gotten a hickey. Have I given you a hickey? You never gave me one. He's given me many hickeys. I don't think I've ever given you a hickey. So have you ever had one? No. Did my sister give you one? Because that's the only other person you get. <laughs> Stepsister, it's a long story. Everything's fine. It's not what it sounds like. It's a lot. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. <laughs> um, have you ever peed in public? You have, I'm sure. I haven't peed in public, but I peed like in the wilderness, you know, like gone off the side of the road and hid behind a tree and peed type thing. Have you ever been drunk? I have not. Danny has. And he hated it. Have you ever pooped in public? No. Again. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Aw, never have I ever been so amazing that a bunch of people followed me on a platform. That's sweet. Never have I ever been allergic to cats. Yes, I have. I hate that. Um, never have I ever stolen anything. I've definitely stolen. I feel like everybody has when they're a kid, right? Like when you're a kid, didn't you ever like steal a candy bar or... And then I did that. My mom made me go back and apologize. Um, have you ever farted in public? I don't think I have. Have I ever, fo have you ever photoshopped? Never have I ever photoshopped my body. I've never done that. I don't even know how to do that. Okay, is that all of them? Wait, that might be it. Oh, well, that's it. Okay, do you have anything to add to this um, video? No. No, okay. No. Thanks for all your support, people, and loving and kind words and everything. Yep, it means a lot to us. I read a bunch of comments yesterday. It was very nice what you said. Yeah. I should write a book. Someone said you should write a book. Mm -hmm. Aw, you should. You're very wise. That's what I said, too. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go lay down. Um, definitely feeling a lot better as far as like the super nausea goes. I think the flu has helped a lot. Yeah. I feel like a little bit of refreshed in me. Yeah. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow for something. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am too. We love you guys. Bye.